Brother Roop here. Uh, we are in the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 12. Um, if you like my little Bible studies, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell. For those who already have, thank you very much. I am honored and privileged and, and hope you enjoy them. So we're book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 12. Uh, Paul, just give you a little background. Uh, the Apostle Paul. Barnabas and Luke and a few others uh, were being chased out from town to town. They finally found, uh, went to Lystra and um, they're coming across the, the marketplace or where everybody was uh, gathered. Uh, Paul comes across with this physically handicapped gentleman, uh, King James says he's crippled. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's politically incorrect these days. So physically handicapped. Uh, he was lame from his feet uh, from birth. And it's a, a it's kind of the same situation when the uh, Peter and John came across this uh, lame man from birth on the temple steps and healed him. And this is the same situation. Uh, Paul and Barnabas are um, come across this uh, lame man from from birth, and uh, he says in a loud voice to get up and walk. He gets up and walks, and uh, the people stand around are amazed. They're absolutely amazed. Then, of course, um, you know they, they think they're Greek gods, and that's because they don't know any better. They 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 only know what they've been taught all their life, so they don't haven't heard the gospel yet. Paul hasn't preached. So you can't really blame these for uh, thinking they're Greek gods. Um, so they called uh, they called Barnabas Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter was the most powerful of all the gods of the ancients. Um, he was represented as the son of Saturn and Ops and was educated in a cave on Mount Ida in the Isle of Crete. Uh, the worship of Jupiter was almost universal. He was the Ammon of Africa, the Belus of Babylon, the Osiris of Egypt. His common appellation was um, the father of gods and men. He was usually represented as sitting upon a golden or ivory throne, holding in one hand a thunderbolt, and in the other a scepter of Cyprus. His power was supposed to extend over other gods, and everything was uh, subservient to his will except the fates. There is the most abundant proof that he was worshipped in the region of Laconia and throughout Asia Minor. There was, besides, a fable among the inhabitants of Laconia that Jupiter and Mercury had once visited that place. So that would probably make him pretty popular around there. And had received even by Philemon. So <laughs> Bible connection there. The whole fable is related by Ovid in his book. I'm not going to mention that. A Mercury, and called Paul Mercury, Mercury, called by the Greeks Hermes, was a celebrated god of antiquity. No less than five of his names are mentioned by Caesarea. Caesarea. Uh, the most celebrated was the son of Jupiter in Mia. He was the messenger of the gods and of Jupiter in particular. There you go. He was the patron of travelers and shepherds. He conducted the souls of the dead into the infernal regions. Uh, so he presided over orators and declaimers and merchants, and he was also the god of thieves, pickpockets. And all dishonest persons, okay. So, uh, <laughs> that's, and as he uh, had rapid and quick movements, that's that's the reason for that. So, 
So the, the conjecture of Christendom is that uh, Barnabas was a large ath athletic man and was hence taken for Jupiter and that Paul was small in his person and was hence supposed to be Mercury. Uh, it says, uh, King James says, because he was the chief speaker, the office of Mercury was to deliver messages of the gods and Paul was only had been just talking. So he was supposed to be Mercury. So there you go. That's the reason why they call him Jupiter and Mercury. Um, we're going to, I'm sure uh, Paul is going to set him straight on that later on uh, when he starts preaching the gospel. So, also Paul looks at this guy, sees that he has the faith to be healed, heals him. Incredible miracle. Does it in front of a lot of people, a lot of uh, non believers. And, um, uh, that's what he needs to um, probably stop getting kicked out from town to town. So, <laughs> so, so he does a, a great miracle. Uh, he did a great miracle there on uh, Crete or uh, Cyprus too. So, uh, but uh, this is a, also a great miracle, and uh, we're going to see what happens next. Thank you. God bless you.